my dear students once again i welcome to my lecture in today's class i will try to explain the two aspects of the genetics in continuation of mendel's laws of inheritance those two aspects are polygenic inheritance and pleiotropy polygenic inheritance and pleiotropy mendel conducted the experiments monohybrid cross dihybrid cross in the characters selected by mendel each character is determined by a single gene for example tallness is determined by a single gene the dwarfness is determined by, by a single gene similarly yellow cotyledon single gene round seed single gene in all the characters of mendel selected all the characters are determined by a single gene what he called them as factors but later on it has been observed the two more phenomena the two more phenomena are polygenic inheritance pleiotropy so here the determination of the characters expression of the characters by the genes is of three types one one gene expressing or regulating a single trait or single character number two many genes determining regulating a single character third a single gene determining regulating more than one characters i repeat a single gene determining a single character many genes determining a single character the third one a single gene expressing many characters now let us see those two the polygenic inheritance and the pleiotropy what is polygenic inheritance is a kind of inheritance in which the trait is produced by the cumulative effects of many genes many genes will be determining a single character they will have the cumulative effect additive effect cumulative effect means additive act 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 this is cumulative similarly here all the genes determining a single character will have the cumulative effect polygenic inheritance is non mendelian what is mendelian according to mendel a single gene determines a single character a single gene regulates a single character but here what is happening many genes are determining a single character they are responsible for a single character so therefore it is non mendelian these genes are located at a different loci in different chromosomes but together expressing the same trait this is an interesting phenomenon here many genes are determining a single character then where are these genes suppose uh, there are four genes there are four genes these four genes will be located on four different chromosomes four genes are responsible for a single character but all the four are that 
located on different chromosomes at a different loci, at different places, one here, another here, another here, like that. But together, they will be expressing a single character. Polygenic inheritance implies a character or phenotypic trait, external appearance, which is regulated by more than one gene. Poly, many, regulated by many genes. It refers to quantitative inheritance wherein two or more independent genes additively affect a single phenotypic character. Cumulative effect, addition, white, pink, still red, deep red, like that. A cumulative effect. In other words, polygenic inheritance is multiple factor. A single trait, a single character is determined by many factors, multiple factor inheritance or multiple gene inheritance, many genes or multifactorial inheritance. It is known by three names, multi polygenic inheritance, multifactor inheritance or multiple gene inheritance or multifactorial inheritance. Then, if many genes contribute to a single character, then what is their role? Definitely a cumulative role, additive role. But these can be divided into two types, contributing alleles, non-contributing alleles. Contributing, non-contributing. Now, what is the difference? Alleles that contribute to continuous variation are referred to as contributing alleles. These are main responsible genes in polygenes. Non-contributing alleles that do not contribute or continuous variation are referred as non-contributing. Their role is less. Their role is less. Their role is there but less non-contributing, effective or non-effective. Then a single trait controlled by many genes, all the genes exert an equal effect, cumulative additive effect, then expression of one gene is not masked by the presence of other genes. In other words, a gene doesn't interfere with the expression of the other gene. It doesn't mask. All of them are expressed. All of them equally contribute to the expression of a particular character. So, epistasis is not observed. That means effect of one gene, another expression of uh, uh, one gene on another is known as epistasis. Suppose one gene is masking the character of another gene. That is called epistasis. Continuous variation can be observed in the phenotype of a tribe in polygenic inheritance. Polygenic traits are measured in terms of the characters like weight, length, width, height, duration, etc. Hence, the individuals cannot be classified into distinct groups like color, shape. So, here a distinct character is not observed. Suppose you take the human height, small, smallness to very tall. There are so many intermediate characters, you cannot classify these people. Variations in polygenic inheritance is of three types, phenotypic, external features, genotypic or environmental due to environmental factors. Examples of polygenic inheritance, skin color and pigmentation, 
so we will have the grades different types dark blackness to white human height human eye color similarly in plants kernel color of the wheat the length of the corolla in tobacco there will be very short it will be very long for example human beings the skin color is controlled by a b c dominant a b c small a b small a small b small c are recessive genotypes of three dominant alleles darkest skin color just like in africans suppose recessive genes are there a b c look at here a a b b c c all recessive they are lightest skin color lightest skin color polygenes are highly influenced by the environmental factors because a single character is regulated by many genes even if there is a one change in the one gene then it will have the total effect on the character different environmental conditions regulate the gene functioning resulting in varying gene functions then what is the significance in nature why it is like this what is its importance polygenic inheritance responsible for the population variance one of the reasons why the individuals are different one from other in a population in a population all the individuals are not similar they are different but for this differences there are many reasons there are many genetic environmental reasons one of the reasons is the polygenic evolutionary significance if uh, variation is there in the population ultimately it will lead to the evolution this polygenic variant changes polygenesis or responsible for evolution of species finally this variation may lead to the speciation appearance of the new species this is also known as theory of polygeny for evolution so this is a polygenic inheritance two three points very very important points a single character regulated determined by many genes more than one genes number 2 these genes are located on different chromosomes at different loci loci so they will have additive or cumulative effect the good examples in human beings height skin color eye color in plants kernel character in wheat then corolla length in tobacco significance is variation evolution ultimately leading to the formation of species then what is let us see pleiotrophy pleo means many pleo means many trophy appearance this is quite opposite to the polygenic inheritance in polygenic inheritance many genes determine a single character but here a single gene determines many characters quite opposite these two types of phenomena are there in nature in organisms what is pleiotropism 
when a single pair of gene controls the production of many characters a single gene or a allele or if you take the homologous a pair of alleles determine many characters then it is called pleiotropism the gene is called pleiotropic gene a gene determining expressing regulating many characters is known as pleiotropic gene pleiotropy was coined in 1910 by peschrift pleiotropy described the genetic effect of a single gene on multiple phenotypic traits on many characters mutation in a polytrophic gene may have effect on some or all traits single gene earlier it is determining many characters suppose if there is a mutation in that gene that effect will be seen in all the phenotypic characters determined by that particular gene in some or all traits mechanism of pleiotropy in most cases is the effect of gene on metabolic pathways pleiotropic genes effect will be on metabolic effects first the metabolic effects in turn will be seen in phenotypic characters later we will see different phenotypes so this is how chromosome gene a single gene determining many char three characters trait a trait b trait c a single gene example phenyl ketonuria pku disease in humans it is due to mutation in a single gene pp that codes for the enzyme phenyl aline hydroxylase phenyl alanine hydroxylase converts the amino acid phenyl alanine to tyrosine in healthy individuals suppose if there is a mutation due to mutation conversion of phenyl alanine to tyrosine is reduced or completely stopped ceased phenyl alanine is not converted to tyrosine so that effect will be seen on finally mental retardation one phenotypic character reduced hair second phenotypic character third skin pigmentation all these are phenotypic characters metabolic effect is here phenyl alanine is not converted to tyrosine because there will be a mutation expressing that particular gene but in the example 2 dobjon skit 1900 has demonstrated that a gene for white eye in drosophila earlier people thought that gene will determine the character whiteness of the eye in drosophila but later it has been found that the same gene will also determine the sperm storage organs in males and females other structures shape of the sperm storage organs in females after the copulation as well as other characters then here this is a phenyl ketonuria single gene mutation mental retardation one phenotypic character second reduction in hair third skin pigment third people with hereditary disorder known as morphans syndrome a protein will be affected a change in the protein structure or change in the polymerization of polypeptides that effect will be 
usually tall height, thin fingers and toes, dislocation of the lens of the eye, heart problems. Now look at it. these symptoms do not seem directly related. This is height, this is toes and fingers, this is eye, this is heart. Unrelated, quite unrelated. But all of them are controlled by a single gene. They can all be traced back to the mutation of a single gene. This gene encodes protein that assembles into chains making elastic fibrils that give the strength and flexibility to the body's connective tissue. Thank you. So, in this layer, we try to understand polygenic polygenes pleiotropy. Thank you very much.